So in front of me I have two bowls. One of them contains real ice cream and the other one contains fake ice cream. And I want you to guess which one is which. So leave a comment down below with your answer and keep watching and you'll find out the truth. So you have probably seen these videos floating around on the internet of various food hacks that they use in commercials. And I wanted to put a few of these to the test and see if they actually work. Hopefully we can break or confirm some of these advertising myths. The first one is every kid's nightmare, fake ice cream. So let's head to the supermarket. So, they say if you mix food coloring with mashed potatoes, it looks like ice cream, with the added benefit that it doesn't melt. I can see how this would be very useful, because making a commercial can take a long time, and you have these hot studio lamps that would melt the ice cream very quickly. But I am skeptical that this will look anything like real ice cream. Vad tror du Emma? Kommer det ut som glass? Well, I guess we're about to find out. So the instruction says that all I gotta do is add the powder and the water and we should have mashed potatoes. I've only done mashed potatoes from scratch, so I have no idea how this will look like. So this hack worked much better than I thought. It really looks like ice cream. And I can definitely see why this is so useful. I mean, the texture on this mashed potato is kind of like Play-Doh, so you can shape them to basically any shape you want. So this is real ice cream and this is the fake ice cream. And I can see now that they don't really have the same color. I mean, the real ice cream color is lighter. Uh, it's not as saturated as this green. And the same goes with the red or pink. Perhaps I used too much food coloring, or perhaps this is just a very light ice cream. I still think this looks like ice cream, just it doesn't really look like this kind of ice cream. But yeah, if I would see this, I would actually think it's ice cream. So I think it's very successful so far. Okay, so this food hack was super useful. The fake ice cream actually looks more appealing to me and it was much easier to style and shape it in an appetizing way. And on top of that, it doesn't melt, which means you can take your time and style it and then you can take photos or film for hours and hours. I give this hack five out of five toaster. It's definitely not a myth. And if you're gonna work with ice cream, you need fake ice cream. I am doing a time lapse right now of the real ice cream and it's basically sauce at this point. I mean, just after 10 minutes it looks terrible, while the fake ice cream has kept its shape surprisingly well. However, I did use real chocolate sauce and I can see that the chocolate sauce has started to melt, but I know that there is some kind of fake sauce you can make as well, but I will leave that for another episode. It is time to move over to food hack number two. Alright, so for food hack number two, we got some hairspray and we got some fruit. And apparently, if you spray hairspray on fruit, it's supposed to shine brighter. And I'm gonna spray apple B and then we will see if uh, this hairspray has any effect. Okay, so it kind of looks watery, kind of looks like water is dripping. It definitely has a different uh, shine to it. If you look right here, you can see uh, my lamp is showing on Apple B. It's almost like a mirror. You can even see my hand. You can see the letter B. Can you see how it reflects onto the apple? If we look here at the letter A that reflects on this apple, you can't see anything. It's just blurry but this becomes like a mirror or something that's pretty cool okay so this definitely works 
So which apple do you think looks more appetizing? Apple B, which is spray with hairspray, or Apple A? I don't know, it's hard to tell for me. It's very hard to tell. Yeah, it is definitely a big difference between the two apples. So I will give this food trick mm, 3 out of 5 toasters. Because I'm not quite sure I like the amount of reflecting the, the right apple does. But I still think it looks more appetizing and the trick definitely works. I just think that it reflects too much. I mean, it's almost like a mirror. Shall I try the grapes as well? Let's try the grapes as well. I don't want to waste too much food, so I'm just gonna try one grape of each. And we're gonna spray the right one, B as well. So I think this trick works better with the apples than the grapes. Uh, it's doing something funny with the grape to the right. If we zoom in here we can see that the texture looks kind of off. I don't know what did that but yeah I didn't really like the hairspray trick on the grapes. But anyway this trick was decent. It worked. Now it's time to move on to hack number three. Let's go. So this is a trick I wanted to try ever since I made my first Bonacqua commercial. And there I had a scene where I sprayed the can with regular water and the water was dripping down the side. But sometimes the water can go too fast, even in slow motion. So Johnny Little Shoes from Reddit gave me this amazing idea of mixing glycerin with the water. And apparently, according to him, glycerin is more viscous. Viscous. More viscous than water and the droplets become more round and just better looking in general. So I have some glycerin syrup here. I'm not quite sure if this is what Johnny Little Shoes meant, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna try to mix some with water. Hmm. So first up is just regular water. Next up we got the glycerin and water mix, which is 50-50. So I didn't notice a noticeable effect, but I think that water droplets was a little bit slower. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this glycerin. Maybe it's 75% glycerin in this now. Let's try. Honestly, I don't see a difference. Okay, are they rounder? I don't know. Johnny Little Shoes said that this was more for stills, so I'm gonna try to take a few pictures. Honestly, I give this hack one out of five toasters because I didn't see that much of a difference. Maybe this works better if I just use regular glycerin instead of uh, glycerin syrup. Uh, but yeah, I didn't notice that much of a difference. Maybe I will see more of a difference in post or when I compare them side to side, but yeah, uh, one out of five toasters. All right. So now that we are in post-production, I feel like I have misjudged a few of these hacks. So first out we had the mashed potato ice cream. And at first I thought I really liked the look of the fake ice cream. But looking at it again, I think that it looks kind of dry. I think you need to fake the melted look to really make this hack work. On this image, the real ice cream looks much more appetizing. Right here where it starts to melt, it looks really good. I know I gave this hack 5 out of 5 toasters, but I really need to remove one toast. So 4 out of 5 toasters. It's still a very practical hack and it was very easy and very quick to make. Our second hack was the hairspray. And this hack worked really great. I just thought it was a little bit too shiny, almost to the point where it looked plastic. 
But now that the spray have settled for a little bit, I think it looks better. It still looks shiny, but not as shiny as it did before. So maybe if I'd let the hairspray dry for a little bit, I can get the effect that I want. I think I will keep this hack on 3 out of 5 toasters. For our last hack we tried to mix glycerin with water and spray a can. And at first I didn't really see a difference. But comparing them now side to side I can really see the difference. The droplets in the glycerin mix are much bigger. I think they have clumped together in some way. And yeah it looks way better than the water mix. I did not notice a difference in the speed of which the droplets were falling. But I think they... Yeah, they're just rounder, better, exactly like Johnny Little Shoes said. So I want to bump this hack up a little bit. I want to give it 3 out of 5 toasters. It was a great hack and I think I will use this in the future. So I have posted a lot more comparison images on my Instagram. You can check it out. My name is Frank Adrian with two N's. Also, please leave a comment on the ice cream test in the beginning. I'm really curious what you thought of it and if I managed to fool you. Also, leave a like for my juggling skills. And if you want part two of this, uh, well, tell me and I will make one. Take care.